So this is the Asus ZenBook 14. I've already reviewed it, but this is the laptop that most reviewers got to showcase Intel's new Meteor Lake processors. And the consensus between most reviewers was that Intel Meteor Lake was a nice update. It obviously was much better than 13th gen Intel, but it basically put it in line with the competition. It wasn't really much better, but it was ready to compete. But the one thing that I kind of saw from most videos was that everyone was kind of having an inconsistent experience. It felt like that this CPU was just not ready for retail. Like me personally, I had to rerun tests over and over again to get consistent results. Adobe Premiere Pro from Puget Bench, that test just didn't work on this CPU. And I couldn't use my standard battery test as it would just fail on this laptop. But there's some good news because about a week ago, Intel released a BIOS update for their Media Lake processors and it really changes everything. Like all those problems I had before are completely gone. From what I understand was that there was scheduling issues with the CPU. It was causing the CPU to be inefficient and have these weird spikes and it would just wreak havoc in some of these tests. But yeah, this new update makes a massive difference. And we're gonna get a little nerdy and talk about performance graphs for a second because single core clock speeds haven't changed. Like they're identical to the previous old BIOS that I originally reviewed this laptop with. The biggest update really comes down to multi-core performance. Like in Cinebench R24, it scored about 608. This time it scored a 768. That's a 23% performance difference. In fact, it takes it from losing to a MacBook Pro 14 with base M3 to going above it. And that's a pretty big deal. If you're talking about creative work, I still feel like the encoders inside the MacBook Pros are better. And I'm talking about base M3 here, not Pro or Max. Just, they just do a better job with certain video applications and photography overall. But the score is better than the previous BIOS with a performance increase of 16%. Finally, Puget Bench Premier Pro was able to run on this laptop without any issues. And it scored about 3279, which is about a 30% performance boost compared to last year's Iris XE. Now the base M3 is still a little bit faster, but that's still a nice update compared to last year's processors. The biggest update was compiling, like 36% difference compared to the previous BIOS. Now AMD still performs better because it can sustain higher clock speeds for longer. And it's a very CPU intensive compile, but 36%, like going from 39 minutes down to 27 minutes is also pretty massive. I also wanted to check to see if there was any differences with the internal GPU to see if that got a performance bump, but I didn't see anything. Like I only saw about a 3% difference, which is more of just, you know, a wash or in line with most tests being a little bit up or down every time you run the same program again. But most of these results really pertain to the CPU. It does run a tiny bit hotter, but nothing to be concerned about. But I did see a more consistent overall average core clock speeds. Like it was just a little bit higher every single time. Even the wattage it was pumping out was also a little bit higher compared to before. Now, obviously if you push this thing for a very long time, it will eventually sustain at 28 watts, but it was able to use more power for longer and give you performance that the previous BIOS just couldn't do. Now I know this is a short video, but I think it's an important video because I feel like the original BIOS we got on these laptops felt like a beta product but now it finally feels solid. Like the tests were all consistent. I didn't have any issues. And if you're picking one of these laptops up, you should probably have a much better experience than I originally did when these reviews hit the market. If you have any questions, let me know in the comment section down below. I know this is a short video, but I think it's an important video because it does provide a nice update to these CPUs. And if you're in the market for an Intel laptop, you might be happy to hear this. Like the video if you liked it, subscribe if you haven't already, and I'll see you guys in the next one.